Venice, Othello the Great General has married Desdemona. The wedding was secret, only a few friends. Among them, his officer Iago. I do hate him as I hate Hell's pains. Oh, you are well tuned now. But I'll set down the pegs that make this music as honest as I am. Signor Brabantio, ho! Awake! What is the matter there? Look to your house, your daughter. Even now, very now, an old black ram is tupping your white you. Your daughter and the moor are now making the beast with two backs. <laughs> Valiant Othello, we must straight employ you against the general enemy. You must hence tonight. Oh, my daughter is abused, stolen from me and corrupted by witchcraft and medicines. What can you say to this? That I have taken away this old man's daughter, it is most true. True, I have married her. This only is the witchcraft I have used. Her father loved me, oft invited me. Still questioned me the story of my life. She loved me for the dangers I had passed. And I loved her, but she did pity them. I think this tale would win my daughter, too. Look to her, Moor! If thou hast eyes to see, she has deceived her father, and may thee. My life upon her faith. It cannot be the Desdemona... There was a young man, Rodrigo was his name, who longed to creep into Desdemona's bed. I have told thee often, I hate the Moor. If thou canst cuckold him, thou dost thyself a pleasure, and me a sport. They sailed to secure the garrison at Cyprus, but a violent storm broke up the fleet. The first vessel safely into harbor carried Cassio, a young officer Othello had promoted over Iago. Then came Iago with his wife Amelia, who was Desdemona's maid, and the ever hopeful Roderigo. Oh, behold, the riches of the ship has come ashore. Hail to thee, lady. Very good, well kissed, an excellent courtesy. With as little a web as this will I ensnare as great a fly as Cassio. What tidings can you tell me of my lord? He is not yet... Sir, would she give you so much of her lips as of her tongue as she oft bestows on me? You'd have enough. Alas, she has no speech. I know. Too much. You are pictures out of doors. Wild cats in your kitchens. Devils being offended. A sail! A sail! Lo, where he comes! Oh, my fair warrior. My dear Othello. Lieutenant Cassio tonight watches on the court of guard. First, I must tell thee this. Desdemona is directly in love with him. I cannot believe that in her. She's, she's full of most blessed condition. Blessed pudding. Do you find some occasion to anger Cassio? He's rash and happily may strike at you. So shall you have a shorter journey to your desires. Welcome, Iago. We must to the watch. Oh, not this, sir, uh, Lieutenant. Uh, I have a stoop of wine. Not tonight, good Iago. I have very poor and unhappy brains for drinking. But one cup. If I can fasten but one cup upon him... He'll be as full of quarrel and offence as my young mistress, Dog. Hold for your lives! Cassio, I love thee. But never more be officer of mine. 
Oh, I have lost the immortal part of myself. My reputation, Iago. My reputation. Come, come. I'll tell you what you shall do. Our general's wife is now the general. Confess yourself freely to her. Importune her. She'll help to put you in your place again. You advise me well. Good night. Honest, Iago. For whilst this honest fool applies Desdemona to repair his fortunes, and she for him pleads strongly to the moor, I'll pour this pestilence into his ear that she repeals him for her body's lust. So will I turn her virtue into pitch and out of her own goodness make the net that shall enmesh them all. Be thou assured, good Cassio, I will do all my abilities in thy behalf. <laughs> Therefore, be merry, Cassio. Madam, here comes my lord. Madam, I'll take my leave. Ha! I like not that. What dost thou say? Nothing, my lord. Was not that Cassio that parted for my wife? Cassio, my lord? No, sure I cannot think it. That he would steal away so guilty-like, seeing you coming? I do believe t'was he. Is he not honest? My lord, for aught I know. I know thou art full of honesty, and waste thy words. Thou dost mean something. Oh, beware jealousy, my lord. It is the green-eyed monster. Farewell. If more thou dost perceive, let me know more. Excellent wretch. Petition catch my soul, but I do love thee. And when I love thee not, chaos is come again. Good love, call him back. Who is it you mean? Why, your lieutenant, Cassio. Not now, sweet Desdemona. Some other time. Shalt be tonight at supper? No, not tonight. Why, then, tomorrow night? I do beseech thee to leave me but a little by myself. Are you not well? I have a pain upon my forehead here. Oh, let me but bind your head. Within this hour it will be well again. Your napkin is too little. Let it alone. This was her first remembrance from the moor. My wayward husband hath a hundred times wooed me to steal it. But she so loves the token. What will you give me now for that same handkerchief? Give it to me. I will, in Cassio's lodging, lose this napkin and let him find it. Trifles light as air are to the jealous confirmation strong as proofs of holy writ. This may do something. The moor already changes with my poison. Look where he comes. Not poppy, nor mandragora, nor all the drowsy syrups of the world shall ever medicine thee to that sweet sleep which thou owest yesterday. Ah! Villain, be sure thou prove my love a whore, a woe upon thy life. Ah! Oh, oh, Grace. Oh, heaven defend me! Take note, take note, O oh world! To be direct and honest is not safe! Next day, give me a living reason that she's disloyal. I do not like the office, but I will go on. I lay with Cassio lately, in sleep. I heard him say, Sweet Desdemona, let us be wary, let us hide our loves. Oh, monstrous! Monstrous. Nay, this was but his dream. I'll tear her all to pieces. Nay, yet be wise. She may be honest yet. Have you not seen a handkerchief spotted with strawberries in your wife's hand? I gave her such a one. It was my first gift. I know not that. But such a handkerchief, I'm sure it was your wife's, did I today see Cassio wipe his beard with. Oh, blood! 
blood, Yago! Blood! Within these three days, let me hear thee say that Cassio's not alive. My friend is dead. Tis done as you request. But let her live. Damn her, lewd minx! Come, go with me apart. Now art thou my lieutenant. I am your own forever. Where should I lose that handkerchief, Amelia? I know not, madam. How is it with you, my lord? I have a salt and sorry room offends me. Lend me thy handkerchief. Here, my lord. That which I gave you. I have it not about me. That's a fault. That handkerchief did an Egyptian to my mother give. There's magic in the web of it. And would to God that I had never seen it. It's lost. It's gone. Heaven bless us! This is a trick to put me from my suit. Pray you, let Cassio be received again. Fetch me that handkerchief! I pray, talk me of Cassio! The handkerchief! Bianca, not Desdemona was Cassio's love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What hath he said? Faith, that he did... I know not what he did. But what? Lie. With her? With her? On her? What you will. Lie with her. Lie on her. Handkerchief. Confessions. Handkerchief. If possible, oh, devil! <laughs> How is it, General? Whilst you were here, mad with your grief, Cassio came hither. I shifted him away. Bade him in on return and here speak with me. Do but encave yourself, for I will make him tell the tale and you where, how, how oft, how long ago, and when he has and is again to cope your wife. Will you withdraw? Now will I question Cassio of Bianca. As he shall smile, Othello shall go mad. <laughs> I never knew a woman love man so. Alas, poor rogue. I think of faith she loves me. She hangs and lolls and weeps upon me. Oh, I see that nose of yours, but not the dog I shall throw it to. This is some minx's token, and I must take out the work. There. By heaven. That should be my handkerchief. After her, after her. Faith, I must. She'll rail in the streets, else. How shall I murder him, Yago? I would have him nine years a killing. A fine woman. A fair woman. A sweet woman. Nay, you must forget that. No, my heart is turned to stone. I strike it and it hurts my hand. <laughs> the world hath not a sweeter creature. Oh, Yago, the pity of it, Yago. If you are so fond over her iniquity, get me some poison, Yago, this night. This night, Yago. Do it not with poison. Strangle her in her bed, even the bed she hath contaminated. And for Cassio, let me be his undertaker. Good, good. The justice of it pleases. The Duke and Senators of Venice greet you. How does Lieutenant Cassio? Cousin, there's fallen between him and my lord an unkind breach. I would do much to atone them for the love I bear to Cassio. Devil! <laughs> I have not deserved this. Maybe the letter moved him. For as I think they do command him home. <laughs> My lord, make her amends. She weeps. <laughs> oh, devil. Devil! Out of my sight! <laughs> Sir, I obey the mandate and will return to Venice. 
Is this the noble Moor whom our false senate call all in all sufficient? Are his wits safe? Alas, alas! It is not honesty in me to speak what I have seen and known. Do but go after and mark how he continues. Let me see your eyes. Look at my face. What art thou? Your wife, my lord. Your true and loyal wife. I cry you mercy, I took you for that cunning whore of Venice that married with Othello! What is the matter, my lady? <laughs> he called her whore. <laughs> oh, good Iago, what shall I do to win my lord again? Tis but his humor. The business of the state does him offense, and he does chide with you. Weep not, all things shall be well. Shall I go fetch your nightgown? No. Unpin me here. How foolish are our minds. My mother had a maid. She was in love. And he she loved proved mad and did forsake her. She had a song of willow. And she died singing it. <laughs> that song tonight will not go from my mind. Come, come. You talk. The poor soul sat sighing By a sycamore tree Sing all a green willow Her hand on her bosom Her hair on her knee Sing willow, 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 willow Sing willow, 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 willow Must be my garland If thou hast purpose, courage, valour Then this night show it I have no great devotion to the deed Fear nothing, I'll be at thy elbow Whether he kill Cassio, or Cassio him, or each do kill the other, every way makes my game. Help! Oh! Murder! Murder! The voice of Cassio. Iago keeps his word. Oh, brave Iago. Oh, my lieutenant. What villains have done this? Help me here. That's one of them. Oh, murderous slave. <laughs> oh, damned Iago. Oh, inhuman dog. This is the night that either makes me or foredoes me quite. Put out the light, and then put out the light. If I quench thee, thou flaming minister, I can again thy former light restore, should I repent me. But once put out thy light. Will you come to bed, my lord? Have you prayed tonight, Desdemona? Aye, my lord. If you bethink yourself of any crime, unreconciled as yet to heaven and grace, solicit for it straight. I would not kill thy unprepared spirit. Then heaven have mercy on me. The handkerchief which I so loved and gave thee, thou gavest to Cassio. I never gave it him. Send for him hither. He has confessed. What, my lord? That he hath used thee. <gasps> He will not say so. No, his mouth is stuck. Alas, he is betrayed and I am done. Down, stupid. <laughs> Kill me tomorrow, let me live tonight. Nay, and you strive. But half an hour. <laughs> it is too late. My lord, my lord. Tis Amelia. 
If she come in, she'll sure speak to my wife. My wife. My wife. What wife? I have no wife. Oh, insupportable. I do beseech you that I may speak with you. Oh. Come in, Emilia. Falsely. Falsely murdered. Oh, lady, speak again. Who hath done this deed? Nobody. I, myself, commend me to my kind lord. Oh, farewell. She's like a liar gone to burning hell. It was I that killed her. Cassio did top her. Ask thy husband, else. My husband? Aye, it was he that told me first. My husband? I say thy husband. My friend, thy husband. Honest, honest Iago. If he say so, may his pernicious soul rot half a grain a day. Help! Help! Oh, help! The Moor hath killed my mistress! Oh, monstrous act. Tis pitiful. But yet Iago knows that she with Cassio hath the act of shame a thousand times committed. Cassio confessed it. And she did gratify his amorous works with the recognizance and pledge of love which I first gave her. I saw it in his hand. It was a handkerchief. Twill out, twill out. Oh, thou dull moor, that handkerchief thou speakst on I found by fortune and did give my husband. He begged of me to steal it. Filth, thou liest. She was chaste. She loved thee, cruel moor. Cold, cold, my girl, even like thy chastity. If that thou beest a devil, I cannot kill thee! I bleed, sir, but not killed. This wretch hath part confessed his villainy, dear general. I did never give you cause. I do believe it, and I ask your pardon. Will you, I pray, demand that demi-devil why he hath thus ensnared my soul and body? Demand me nothing. What you know, you know. Soft you, a word or two. I have done the state some service, and they know it. I pray you, in your letters, when you shall these unlucky deeds relate, speak of them as they are, then must you speak. Of one that loved not wisely, but too well. Set you down this, and say besides that in Aleppo once, where a malignant and a turban Turk beat a Venetian and reduced the state. I took by the throat the circumcised dog and smote him thus! I kissed thee ere I killed thee. No way but this. Killing myself to die upon a 